What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today I'm going to show you how to push and launch a character in a certain direction. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is create our dummy so we can push it. Of course, if you already have a sort of enemy that you want to use, you can use that one and skip this step. But I'm going to quickly make it, so just right click, go into Blueprint class, character, MVP underscore, and let's say launch a tooth, for example. Let's go ahead and open the blueprint. I'm gonna use apply a mesh. So let me just uh, go in here and put queen simple, for example, and then uh, this in minus 89, in minus 90, put it basically in position, and then queen, uh, app queen, so it has an idle animation. Great. In terms of that, we don't have to touch anything. We just compile, save, and close. So now we can just drag it into the scene and just rotate it. Maybe it's looking at us, and that's it. So now what we have to do is go into our third person character blueprint. Uh, let's go into the event graph and just find a place. So in my case, let's do that when I press the end key, I will basically push him. Um, yes, why I'm using the end key? Well, because I have a lot of keys already used in this <laughs> part. Um, yeah, that's basically reason. Anyway, let's get this. I'm going to do is a sphere trace um, for objects. So basically, it will make an invisible sphere that will go from one place to another one, stays, uh, start to, to the end, and will detect the object that we can uh, we have just hit. So we can just get the full camera and just get the weld location, and that will be our starting point. And then we want to get the weld rotation because we want to get the forward vector. So basically, where the camera is right now looking. So now what we can do is basically times this by right click convert into a float so basically this is the distance that we will be able to detect enemies okay so let's put for example a thousand now don't confuse this with the distance uh, that will push the enemy this is the distance that will be able to push the enemy <laughs> if that makes sense now let's get the location and basically add it with this other vector and that will give us the end position now in the radius let's put something as 30 for example and then the object types you just go ahead and say uh, make array and basically, this is the objects that we can find. In our case, normally, pawns will be always characters in Unreal Engine. Now, return values, make a branch. So basically, we'll only continue. We have actually hit something. Now, the out hit, what we can do is just say break hit. And now, we'll basically get all the information about what we have hit it. Now, use the testers, what we can do is put this for duration. So if I go and press play, you will see that when I press N, you will have a, a sphere trace happening from the camera location into where I'm basically facing so in that case i will be detecting you can see the enemy i will be pushing maybe a thousand is too much so you can change that for for me for the tutorial is okay now an inconvenience here is that we can just not get the hit actor that we have hit it and then you say launch character because we have to directly cast into it so let's just do cast to launch character or whatever uh, was your character now, yes, we could, you know, we could create an interface so we don't have to cast into individual actors. But for the you know, simplicity for this tutorial, I'm just going to quickly cast. And now what we can do is just use this node, which is launch character. This will basically supply a force into the whole character in a certain direction and uh, with a velocity. Uh, so let's say that, for example, I put a thousand inside axis. So he'll just launch upwards. So this will uh, should work. So if I go here. I basically press N and boom, <laughs> he goes upwards and down. Great, it works, but now it has to be with the direction that we are looking. So what we can do is just get again the, well, in this case, it will not be from the camera. Um, actually, yes, it will be, let's, let's do it for a camera. So actually, let's just get the full camera, uh, well, rotation and for a vector. And actually, we also want to get this time thing because it's basically the force. So we want to actually just copy this, press Q so everything is aligned. And now we can just pass that into the velocity directly. And you will see that it will apply some force in the forward vector. Now, let's see what happens here. So if I do this and press play, I'm going to go here and press N. You can see that it's slowly pushing it backwards. But of course, this is too less. So I guess that we have to crank this up maybe into 5K. Uh, let's see how that does. Let's go here, press N. Yeah, that's way better. So in order to make it also look a bit better and launching the character a bit up, uh, what we can do is just go ahead and uh, right click and split it. So we have the axis individually. So on here, what we can do is just go and plug, uh, just split this. We can put the X in X, Y in Y, but 
for the set, what we can do is add this value. So for example, a thousand more, hundred no, thousand more. There we go. Let's plug it in. Now you will see that he will also go a bit up. So you can see, well, maybe it's not very visible. Maybe it has to be a bit higher. Uh, yes, let's do 5,000 just to make sure it's working. Uh, let me go here. Okay, yeah, that, that works. <laughs> That's way too much. Um, maybe 2K, I mean, before it was 2 Okay. Also, you have to remember that maybe it's a bit more because of the friction, right? So you have to be careful with this. Maybe I have to drop this bit down to 3, but then I can increase this to 4. Something like that. You know, you, you get the idea. And now it's just playing with values to get what you want. This is way too much. <laughs> uh, maybe, yes, maybe 2. Okay, here. I mean, honestly, I don't know. It's just playing with values. Maybe that's way too much. Um, but you have to remember that there's friction happening. So, um, you know, because we are playing so many, so much force, sorry, into the character, it might be going too much up, too much down. You know, you go ahead and play with that how you want. But I think this value will work pretty good. Yeah, that, that works. You can see we're pushing. There we go. So basically, a thousand into, you know, his where we're looking and then adding an extra 700 upwards so that's it guys if you found the tutorial helpful i really appreciate you to like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials so if you want to go ahead and check them out go ahead as you can see i can look backwards and then i apply the force if you want you can change it from the full camera to be basically just the mesh just by dragging that so it's not where your camera's looking but when your uh, character's actually face maybe you prefer that it just it takes uh, so just like and subscribe to get my other tutorials and yeah now yes this uh, don't make this server too <laughs> I don't can't even talk and now yes plus head. Uh...